Almost every facet of our economy could be impacted if Congress doesn't approve a debt ceiling rise. Uh, it includes transportation. Since federal workers are responsible for air traffic and security, today Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg touring $68 million worth of improvements at the Cedar Rapids Airport. Congress's bipartisan infrastructure law paid for $20 million of that funding. Political Director Dave Price spoke one-on-one -on -one with the Secretary about what's at stake over the debt ceiling disagreement. The Cedar Rapids Airport here, really all airports and Almost every facet of our lives could be completely upended if the debt ceiling doesn't rise. I asked Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg to describe the seriousness of what's at stake here. Well, two things people need to understand. One is how bad it would be, and, and it's uh, really unthinkable in terms of our economy and what it would do to each and every one of us, from our savings to our uh, uh, potentially jobs. I mean, everybody would be impacted, but also how unnecessary it is. You know, three times uh, under uh, the last president, uh, they voted for this no problem. Uh, it, this is not a debate over how much debt to take on. It's just whether to pay our bills, and the U.S. has always, always paid our bills for two. Now, specifically about transportation, I asked the secretary what to expect this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, and he said that this will indeed be a test with so many people traveling. Of course, we remember all of those travel nightmares that happened over the Christmas holidays because of staffing and flight cancellations. In Cedar Rapids, Dave Price, WHO 13 News.